Subscribe to get carried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Hey guys, it's the Bombay Chef Varun Amdar and welcome to Get Carried. Well, today let's make a East Indian specialty potato chops. Well, the name is potato chops, but trust me, there's a lot of meat that goes in there. Let's begin. Well, there's a lot of ambiguity around the name chop because trust me, this is more like a patty or a cutlet. Word being word, let's begin with the process. The first thing is to chop an onion finely. I'm using a very street style technique of chopping an onion. If you're comfortable doing this, by all means go ahead. If not, just regularly chop an onion. Once the onions are finely cut and ready, let's turn the flame on and add in a tablespoon of vegetable oil. While the oil is just kind of beginning to heat up, we'll slide in the chopped onions and let's stir this till they're nice and translucent in color. Let's add in ginger garlic and green chili paste. Well, you can also choose to add chopped ones or crushed ones, but I prefer them in paste form. Stir this for around 30-40 seconds on high flame till the raw flavor kind of goes off. Time to add in minced meat. Give this a good stir. We need to cook the meat on high flame for somewhere around 2 to 3 minutes so that all the moisture kind of begins to release and that's the time when we need to start adding in the powder spices. The first thing is some turmeric powder and I'm going to follow this up with East Indian bottle masala. In case you cannot lay your hands on this, just add in chilli powder and a touch of garam masala. To this, let's add in some crushed peppercorns. I prefer crushing them fresh but of course you can use pepper powder as well. This has a touch of sweetness and for that I'm adding in just a little bit of sugar. To flavour this further and make it nice and sour, I'm going to add in a squeeze of lemon juice. Salt as required and finally to make it nice and herby, I'm going to add in some mint leaves and coriander leaves which are both going to be chopped finely. Give this a good mix and allow the meat to cook on high flame for at least 10 to 15 minutes or till the meat is well done. The stuffing mix has cooked perfectly well, off goes the flame and this now needs to cool down completely and in the interim we need to boil potatoes, peel them, crush them and keep ready for the chops. Our meat mixture has cooled down completely. The potatoes here are boiled, peeled, crushed and ready. To this, let's add in some breadcrumbs. Well, not too much, but just little, just so that the binding kind of becomes easier. We need to add in some salt, and this is only added if you've not added salt while boiling the potatoes. Let's mix all of this well. The next step is to take some potato mixture, like so. This is roughly a little larger than the size of a lemon. With the use of a thumb, we need to create a depression and make like a bowl. To this mixture, we'll add in the meat. Bring all of this together and try to encase the meat into the potato mix. Bring all of this together and keep it aside till we move on to the next step. Now that the potato chops are ready, trust me, we are just halfway through. The next step is to pat this lightly and make it look like a chop or a cutlet. The next step is to beat an egg. Once that's done, we need to dip the chop in the beaten eggs and transfer into fresh breadcrumbs. Roll these lightly and get it back to its normal shape. Similarly, Let's get going with the other chops. Well, this stage is technically known as crumbing. Post crumbing, all we need to do is rest this in the freezer for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes and then let's fry this. Our potato chops have been in the freezer for around 10 minutes. The next step, of course, is to fry these. For that, I'm using a shallow fry pan and adding in some oil. The oil is heated up. Let's transfer these very carefully in hot oil and pan fry this till needless to say, 
golden brown on both the sides. Carefully flip this over and fry on both the sides. Once these are fried and ready, let's transfer these on an absorbent tissue paper so that all the excess oil kind of gets drained off. With this, your traditional and unique Eastern Indian potato chops are done and ready. And this goes perfectly well with ketchup. On that note, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curried.